Hello everybody, I'm Mole West, and this is Near Replicant once again. In the last episode, we went and unpetrified Kaine after curing Emil's condition and giving him yet another condition that makes him look like some kind of freaky skeleton thing, but that condition is less bad than turning everyone into stone. Anywho, there's Devila. I think that's Devila. Hard to tell Devila and Popola apart since they're twins! Hey. Oh, uh, hi. Just so you know, I'm still mad at you for not letting Kaine and Emil into the village. I kind of thought you'd never talk to us again. Yeah, I kind of thought the same thing too. And my face is on the wrong side of the screen. I really need to get better at remembering to fix that. That's better. I understand you're doing this for the village, and that you don't have a choice. Pretty much, yeah. But look, why don't you go talk to Popola? I think she wanted to discuss the Shadow Lord with you. Hmm, what would she know about he? I'm headed there next. Oh, and Devila? Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have lost my temper like that. You don't need to apologize. Anyone would be upset when their friends are hurting. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry, all right? All right. Well, all right then. Popola has some information that she inexplicably acquired about this Shadow Lord. Perhaps it would reveal something else. Something more sinister about her and her twin sister. Or maybe I'm just looking too deep into things. It's either one or the other. It's always one, but it's never both. It couldn't be both unless that was just impossible. Popola? Popola, are you going to reveal that you're evil? Oh, hello. Look, I want to apologize for yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers. And I jumped down your throat for it. It's very kind of you to say so. Regardless, please don't let it trouble you. Ahem. <clears throat> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh, right. Yes, about that. About the Shadow Lord? You know about the Lost Shrine, right? Yeah, I'm familiar with it. The temple where I was first discovered. That's it. Well, it seems that the Shadow Lord's lair is connected to it somehow. Neat. Oh, ho. Oh. It was right under our pages the whole time. Indeed it was. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So, take a boat. A boat? A, a boat? A boat. Yes. The canal's finally been repaired. A boat? It took a lot longer than expected. What with the shades and all. A boat! I also asked them to provide a boat at the path to the Lost Shrine's back entrance. A boat? The ferryman will let you use it free of charge. A boat! That should make it easier for you to move from town to town. A Thanks, boat? Popola. A boat! I feel like you've done so much for me. A boat? I'm really grateful. A boat! <laughs> Alright, I'll see you around. A boat, you say? And for the love of everything, be careful. A boat? Well, we got ourselves a boat. How useful that will be. Quick passage between towns. I wonder if that boat will take me to the junk heap, because that's the only place I can possibly upgrade my weapons. And I don't think there's a body of water near there. The entrance to the shopping district should lead to the boat landing. A boat? Yeah, let's go see that boat. How excellent to know the canal is finished. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. Hopefully. Uh, okay. A villager just decided to say something that was not spoken. Saying something about the fate and cards. I don't know. And I just remembered I didn't go check in the weapon oh, shop. Sure, eh? Well, weapon shop. Hey, you. You ever seen a treasure map before? Uh, maybe. A treasure map? Yeah, a treasure map. You know, a map that shows you where to find buried treasure. I'm collecting them. 
My lifelong dream is to one day roll naked in a pile of sweet, sweet treasure. Well, that's one dream, I guess. That's an interesting dream. So that's why I'm looking for a new treasure map or two. If you find one, bring it on over to me, all right? Okay. Well, got me equipped. Sure I guess I should know where to look for a treasure map before telling the guy sure thing. Yeah, probably. I could hardly expect to stumble across such a thing lying on the ground. Perhaps we should look for a place where old documents are stored. You mean like a library? Old documents, huh? Yeah, that sounds like a library thing, but I'm not gonna do that quest Welcome. though. I only came here to see what weapons you got. You got a lily leaf sword, beast bane, axe of beheading, and sunrise. And yeah, I ain't got enough money to go buying a lot of these. Well then, I should probably actually try to. Smiths always do well in times like these. Yes. Yeah. Supply and demand, I suppose. Yeah, that's how it is. Anywho, I should probably look into getting some money before trying to buy things that I don't have money for. Now, let's hop aboard the boat. That is, uh, how the fuck do I get there? I think if I were to get up higher, how the hell would I get up higher? There's this over here, how I first discovered that you can't swim. I tried to jump over to the boat, but I couldn't make it because my little stumpy legs can't jump that good. Hmm. Where, oh, where will I find the stairs? There, oh, there, I have found the stairs. Just look, and you shall find. This looks like it would get me to Bodie Town. Yeah! Hey, boat guy! Hey, look who it is. Remember me? Yeah, I remember you. That red bag. By my pages, you're the slovenly half of that couple who refused to stop arguing. Indeed. Hey, it's been a while. Sure has. I've been in charge of this canal since we last talked. Mm -hmm. Apparently I did a pretty good job with it because they decided to make me the permanent ferryman. So, by permanent ferryman, I guess that means you're not allowed to quit even if you want to. Oh, yeah, huh? Congrats. Yep, slave labor. Thanks. Still, it's not all puppies and unicorns. The old ball and chain is always harping on me now about how much I work. Anyway, if you got a place to be, just let me know and I'll take you there. Well, all right. I would very much like to go to that lost shrine because that's where I need to be. And as I thought, there is no way of going to the junk heap through the boat. As I said, there ain't no body of water there. But it can take me to the desert, a place that is known for not having any water. By boat, mind you! Now let's get to that lost shrine. Let's keep on moving. Lost Shrine's up ahead, just past this cave. You don't say. As well as the Shadow Lord's castle. Let us make haste. Yeah. We gotta uh, go step all over the Shadow Lord's shadowy testicles. Turn him from a Shadow Lord into a Shadow Lady. Of course, by cutting off his genitals. That's the way I handle things. How do you do it? Might be more of a pain in the ass getting into the Lost Shrine going in this way, but it's actually possible since that other bridge fell down. Apparently. I don't remember if it actually fell down in the cutscene after making it out or not. Either way, the bridge up top is currently unusable. Done went and stopped being alive it is. A dead bridge ain't no good for anybody. 
Now we just gotta keep on climbing and lucky for Emil, he can just float on up there. Floaty little Emil, he don't gotta worry about falling into no holes or anything. He's just like that in China, he can teleport for whatever goddamn reason. And then, uh, ooh, give to me please. The Spear, the Devil Queen. That's what I done picked up. Climb a ladder now. It seems Kaine don't know how to climb. She's just running around all crazy like it until she teleports. Either way, it works for her. Now up we go. We got more ladder to climb. And eventually we'll actually get inside that shrine. Nef I just keep on going, I think I found a way in. Unless this just takes me out to the other side of the big old plateau it's sitting on. Okay, we're in. That's a good. That is a good thing. And it would seem that the only way out is to just jump on a box. Convenient. But also a pain in the ass for having to do it that way. And if I could just move without getting stuck on tree roots, that would be great. And of course, there be shades of the armored variety. Of course, they can just die, but they are very durable, even if I break through their armor. God damn, why are you so hard to kill? You're supposed to die when I kill you, but I say you refuse to be dead. Now hurry up and die. Not sure how well your armor protects you against magic, but apparently you're still alive. God damn. I really need you to die faster. I need stronger weaponry to kill the living shit out of you. La 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 la, there you go. And you know what? I have not been using those words of power or whatever the hell they are. I... Yeah, let's go ahead and slap a word on this blade of treachery. There we go. Let's see how much better I do in the attempts of killing these guys now that I got some magic words put into my sword and magic. And that is the lance. I thought I had dark hand on there. No matter, I can change that around later. It's still an effective bit of magic to have. Now I just need to kill the living dog shit out of you. I put some words on there to make my sword hit harder. And one that makes you more likely to drop valuable things. So now, I'll be getting stuff and things even more often out of you. Now hurry up and die, you pizza shit. And there, you are still very much alive. These goddamn armored shades need to learn when to stop being alive. They need to know when they ain't wanted. But that ain't what they's gonna do. And, well, that was pretty mean now, wasn't it? He was on the ground and I just decided to carve him up like a goddamn shadowy turkey. And there's another thing. Another magic word that I'm probably not going to use, and that's the wrong damn button, and I want my dark hand. I like to give these things a vicious hand job. Go ahead and take that out of context if you want to. Somebody's going to do that in one way or another. Anything in here? No. Fine. Didn't want to find anything anyway. Now let's just figure out which way's the right way. It's probably the way through the door. Unless there's more stairs that go up. Which indeed there are way over there, but I can't reach them from here. I gotta go around the long way. 
going up through these rooms again. And, of course, gravity push push. Gravity push push. There we go. Get the fuck out my way, Mr. Door thing. And another gravity push push block. Gotta get all grabby pushed. You go this way, another block go that way, and then you go that way, and there we go. You're still in the way, cause the fuck are you? There, that's enough room to open the door. This is all too easy. That's what you like to say, but you ain't the one out here having to fight the goddamn armored shades, you stupid bastard. Oh, hello, that, that was Emil. Emil was shooting and I thought I was about to get shot all up in the butt. Ow. Now, if I'd stop getting my buttons mixed up and trying to block by casting spells, then that would just be grand. Now, who wants a fisting? I guess you do. Now then, let's just finish you off nice and easy. Except you're still not dead. Hurry up and die. Goddamn armored pieces of shit. Drop dead, please. There you go. That's a nice finishing move. Didn't even know that was a thing I could do until I noticed that prompt over there under my health and magic. And don't feel like going through there. That would be a waste of everybody's time. Except I have to go in there because that's the way forward because them stairs is blocked by big old tree roots. Get this fucking door out of my way! And we got another door blocked in the way, and the blockity door blocked up with blocks. Of course, wouldn't be a door if it wasn't blocked up with things and stuff, and you can get the fuck out of my way, blocky boy. We got too many blocks in here that need to get the fuck up on out of my way. All the blocks in all of the worlds can't save you from my block pushing powers. And there we go. Many block, much push. That is what we gotta do here. And egg, 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 come on, blockity boy. Blocky boy. The blocks, the blocks I am pushing. Push it, he pull, block be gone, get the fuck out of my way! And I'll just pull you over here, cause why the fuck not? That's what I like to do with my spare time, is put blocks in all kinds of stupid places. Now then, the hell did you just do to me, Emil? You just shot a green thing at me, I assume that's good. Green is usually good when it comes towards you from an ally like that. And this guy's down, FURNISH HIM! All right. So, I am learning new things. I can knock shades down and finish them off real quick. That makes life a lot easier when I do that properly. Ha <laughs> ha! These armored shades have suddenly become a lot less durable. All because I learned the secret to instantly killing them. Now then, of course, more armored shades, and down you go! Ha ha ha! Too easy, ow! I done died. Can somebody make me not dead anymore? I guess not. Well... Kinda thought I wouldn't, I'd be able to get knocked out of my attacks before getting killed. I noticed I was getting hit, but it did not stop my attacks. Anywho, I might have to get back to where I was, which I will do off camera, and we'll pick up from there in the next episode. We'll all that time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!